guess we are heading to the farm. And we're gonna kick some ass and get some food. Here it is, St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing. With generators Holy and shit. I'm going to that's freaking that's ridiculous. Mm. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with guess. company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mock. Is this I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends yeah. staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Yes. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. These people freak me out. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully yeah, Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? But she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go oh, get your who, who's this guy speaking for? The rest of us aren't agreeing to this. All you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Can I come in the Why kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Alright. Yeah, take the, the newbie kid. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes mm. the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This right. place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um... Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, then we can kill them all. Hmm. Let's go check out this fence or this swing. Yes, the swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that oh, old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Um, How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. And some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yeah, 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 that's it. 
So we want to make sure that they think that we can do shit. What's up, homie? So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. What are you doing? Absolutely nothing? I think there was something over here I can... Yeah, yeah right here. Push that gate open. Let's see. Can we look in the window? Oh, what's this? This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. It meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he wow. insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Yeah. I don't know. I don't trust these people. They scare me. There's something going on here. Now I'm going to find it out. Can't we look in the window? What's in here? This rope is perfect um, there's for the Okay. Let's take the rope. I have a rope and an axe. Open sesame. Can I come inside? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Uh, how many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to <laughs> My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. That's nice. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. Okay. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> oh, I, I won't tell him that. family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lou. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Like. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. All right. For some reason I can't get in the house. What's this? Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Uh huh. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. What's this? Wait. Hmm. Pointy. Oh, this is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, something to cut this it. Might make a good oh, there is a sweet. saw right next to it, Lee. Why don't you just pick up the saw? Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah. Go right ahead. All right. about a nice uh, seat and I like how he just puts it in his pocket 
I wish I could put a whole board in my pocket. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. I feel you on that, my friend. Wonder how Where's much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Yeah, hopefully. Well, let's go repair the swing. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Absolutely not. Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Annie and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. It's all right. Don't worry, we got a swing now. The world is perfect. Nothing to worry about. Zombies, what? We have a swing. All right. Let's go talk to this dude about walking. Oh wait, I can push this. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cows pretty important. Thanks to the fence, yeah. nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. Sounds good. I don't. I don't want to do it now. Whatever. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Alright. I won't touch it. You know I want to. Hi. I like to push buttons. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us... They'll regret it. Well, <laughs> protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. We can't be the first people mm -hmm. you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights yeah. and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got Frank close. Did. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These <laughs> generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can mm. help you with that right. perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Okay. Stay attentive. You never know. Alright. So we're gonna go push some dead guys off the fence for this guy. Oh, you got a lot it's of land place to look by this fence. It's safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. 
What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said <laughs> it. You even admitted it right to him. That guy's um, a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making <laughs> things any better, Ryland. <laughs> There's one. I don't like him. Ugh. Mm. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Hey. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. I hope so. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Maybe well, the St. John arrow, boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, I hope he was already dead. Let's take that arrow. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's mm. still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine don't know about that? Worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. There's another one. I trust that guy. I see it. I see it. That dude's good people. Right into its hands. I think they fused together. Okay. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal yeah, will be worth did. it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> It's a motherfucking message. <laughs> Little help here, Lee? Oh, you want me to help? Okay. I probably should have looked at that body because I think he's on the inside, isn't he? Oh, da 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 da. Holy oh, fuck! Maybe not. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh shit! What the? Get to the gate! Oh shit! Get down! Jeez! To the tractor! We had to bring it! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No Holy. idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Now you now! Okay, so it's got a block. Push it. Hold it. No. So it's got a gear. Oh. Lee, the back is stuck in the dirt. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Alright, pull this. Fuck you, dog. 
Oh, we can shit. reach the gate. Give we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, shit that hurts. No. Damn. Who are these people with all these arrows? And why are they running around? I can do this. Can't hit me. Oh, what, what happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Should have had a mover. Why is there gonna be dead people in the way? Where do I think I'm going? I'm going to that fence. Shit, another one? Another one? How many of those things can we push down? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, this guy's still alive. Ugh. Eat my boot, bitch. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. You okay? Why didn't I throw him into the barrel? Come on. The gate's right there. Oh, shit. He's catching us. He's catching us. He's catching me. Oh, no. Oh my god, he's gonna get me! Ugh. Oh, thank god they took him out. Let's get out of here. What we'll stops these guys from running through the gate? They ain't going nowhere. Alright. I don't know who those guys are. Whoever they are, they don't uh, they don't plan on going anywhere. Lee, what's wrong? This place was safe. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bad. They have yeah, no right fucker. being out here. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, shit, yo. Man. Let's pull Mark. it out. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, out. honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Yeah, not bitch. like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Uh -huh. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deals. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, yeah, we may sure have had an would've. agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're going to let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Pandas? All right. All right. Are you serious? Let's hop the sons of bitches. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, oh, Rambo. Jesus. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Oh, that was nice of her. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're yeah, the best. go play. Yeah. You're welcome, Clementine.